the president of this country is killing people, is killing kids every single day. People are getting abducted, people are getting arrested, people are being disappeared for protesting against overtaxation. So we're here to bury Ibrahim who was murdered by the police uh, during the peaceful protests that actually happened. Uh, he was an innocent young man with a bright feature and he was protesting for his rights and then he was murdered. So we're here to say goodbye to him and demand for justice. My name is Boniface Mwangi. I'm an activist online. People call me the People's Watchman because when you have an issue, come to me. I highlight it for you and then we try and get you justice. Judicial. Yeah, it looks like a war zone. The president is a coward. That's he needs a lot of armed people around his residence. So we're going to go around and say hello to the, all the police roadblocks, find out how they're doing. So the colors are very symbolic. It's green for the country, white for peace, red for the blood that was shed for our freedom, and black for the people. We're black and beautiful all the time. Today the city looks like the president is under siege. A man under siege from his own citizens should ask himself what he's doing wrong. I was almost abducted by, by the police outside a mortuary, so I had to run away. They just had us in any young people in the streets. We can't walk around, can't say anything. Our government is overtaxing us so that we can support and maintain the expensive lifestyle and tastes of the people in power. So the anger in the streets is about Kenyans saying you cannot overtax us to to find your lifestyle. The police are killing us outside parliament. They just shot someone right now. Two people have been shot right now outside parliament. They are shooting us. Why are you shooting us? Why are you people killing us? We were trying to get the body released because the Muslims and the police were denying. Uh, they were saying that they're still investigating, but the longer Muslim stays, uh, it's not right for their religion. So we are trying to get the body released, then it can be buried today. Find out, find out. No, no, come on. <laughs> It is tough. It's, it's a, he was a young kid, 19 years old. Just finished high school. Father, I think that's the proudest thing I have in my life. My three kids who are all Gen Z's and I do this for them. I fight for them. 
God trips. Where do I see myself in the coming weeks? I hope I stay alive. I hope I don't get murdered. And I hope that I'm going to live long enough to see the liberation of this country. But if that doesn't happen, the fight must continue and that my family and my kids will understand why we're doing this.